Hey, uh, what's going on everybody? In this video, I'm going to explain variable scope in C. Variable scope, it refers to where a variable is recognized and accessible. Variables, they can share the same name, as long as they're within different scopes. You could say a scope is a set of curly braces. Anything within that set of curly braces is a scope, a local scope. Within the same scope, two variables can't share the same name. Let's try and do so. I'll create a variable of result. I'll just set it to be zero. I will also declare another variable of result. I'll set it to be one, I guess. Here's what happens when I compile this program. We have an error. Redefinition of result. There's a previous definition of variable result. Variables in the same scope, they can't share the same name. We could say result one and result two. That's completely fine. But if a variable is within a different scope, we can reuse the same name. Here's an example. Let's create a function to add. We'll add two numbers. We'll return an integer. This function name will be add. We have two parameters, an int of x and an int of y. Inside of this function, I will create a local variable of result, much like what we did with the main function result equals x plus y. Then we are going to return our result variable. In order for this program to work, you don't necessarily need to declare a variable. You could just say return x plus y. That's how I would do it, but that would defeat the purpose of this lesson. Just for this example, we'll declare a variable. Now within our main function, we'll call the add function, then pass in two numbers. I'll just pass in three and four. Then at the end, we will print whatever our result is. We're displaying an integer, and we will display our result. So this program should run and compile just fine. Our result is seven. We have two variables of result. They share the same name. They can have the same name as long as they're within different scopes. They're each within their own local scope. Our main function can't see what's within this other function. We could create another function too of subtract. I'll do some copying and pasting. Let's create a function of subtract. Result equals x minus y. Then we will call the subtract function. Subtract 4 from 3, then print the result, which is negative 1. Functions can't see inside of other functions. If I was to create two local variables within the main function, we'll say int x equals, I don't know, 5 this time, int y equals 6. Let's modify these functions so they don't take any arguments. We'll call the subtract function, but have no arguments. Let's see what happens. We have two variables, x and y, within the main function. Well, we get an error. Our function of subtract, it doesn't know what x and y is. They're within a different local scope. Our subtract function can't see inside the main function. Think of a scope as a house. The main scope is our house. The subtract function is our neighbor's house. Our neighbor can't see what's inside of our main function, and our main function can't see what's inside of the subtract function. That's why when we call a function, we have to pass in arguments in order for that function to use them. int x and int y. We're calling our neighbor to let them know about these variables, x and y. And that does work. These variables have a local scope. There's also something called a global scope. That's where you define any variables outside of any functions. If we had a variable of int result, I could set that to some number. Then any part of my program would recognize this variable. However, I would not actually recommend doing this, and I'll explain in a moment. This would work too, but it's not best practice. Result is negative one. Result is within a global scope. Any part of my program has access to it, but that makes my program more difficult to debug. Hard to debug. That's because any function could accidentally modify this variable unintentionally. It's best to avoid global variables in C, unless you're creating a constant, which is another lesson entirely. In C, we try and avoid using global variables if we can. It's better to stick to local variables. 
All right, everybody, that is variable scope. It refers to where a variable is recognized and accessible. Variables can share the same name if they're within different scopes. We've discussed local and global. And well, everybody, that is variable scope in C.